And it is time to talk about California's spiny lobster. Now, maybe I'm just not in the know, but I had not heard of this delicacy, which it is in many countries. Uh, Christine Barsky with the Department of Fish and Game in Oxnard joins us uh, now to talk a little bit about this treat. Hey, Christine. Good morning. Fantastic to have you with us. I, I gave you a call in earlier in the week, and we talked, and... and uh, Am I the only person that's not heard of the spiny, lo- <laughs> spiny lobster, or is it one of those uh, San Francisco fishery uh, items that it just hasn't doesn't have that much popularity? Well, I was born in Northern California, and I never heard of the spiny lobster until I arrived in Southern California. Uh, okay, so it's more, it it is primarily from Monterey South, but not so much up in the Monterey area, right? You can find an occasional lobster that has made it that far north, but the bulk of the fishery, both commercial and recreational, is from Point Conception South. Okay, so Santa Barbara uh, and mm-hmm. and uh, Ventura County, Oxnard, where you're based, uh, and then on down in through the LA region, uh, into San Diego, um, the Mexican border, and into Mexico, where there is also a fishery for California spiny lobster. Oh, okay. So, Christine, um. I am also new to the spiny lobster. I'm like Randall. This is the first time I'm hearing about it. And I've also not encountered it in a restaurant. So where do people, where do consumers find spiny lobster? Um, well, they either go out themselves and get it mm-hmm. <laughs> because you can um, dive or hoop net for lobsters yourself. Or you can find it in grocery stores. Usually it comes in as tail. Okay. The Caribbean and the Florida area and things like that. The spiny lobster does not have the claws that are uh, the signature trademark of the lobster from New England, correct? Exactly. Our, our, they're covered with spines and no big claws on the front. The majority of the meat is in the tail, although there is meat at the base of every leg and in the large antenna. Yeah, I looked at a picture and the legs, they don't seem to be quite as pronounced as the lobster that we all know, the New England lobster with the big claws and everything. But there is a little bit of meat there with those little scrawny legs that these <laughs> spiny lobsters have. Right, but mainly the tail. That's what you're after even with the New England yes, lobster. Yes, of course. Is the, uh, delicious, <laughs> delicious tail, of course. Uh, now, Christine, you were telling me on the phone this past week that uh, shoppers who are in the know and happen to be in Southern California can get the spiny lobster at a at a steal, really, for what it is for compared to its normal price by hitting some of the farmers markets. Right. And then a lot of several of the harbors uh, in Southern California, starting in uh, Santa Barbara or even north in Morro Bay and going south, Santa Monica, San Diego, LA, they have fishermen's markets and farmers markets combined where they'll actually sell the lobster off the boat. Oh. Wow. Our cool. lobster are usually sold live. Um, you you want to make sure your lobster is live before you bring it home. Um, as as you know, seafood, seafood has a, it's very delicate and mm-hmm. it starts to uh, degrade as soon as it, it, the animal is dead. So you want to keep it fresh and frozen and eat it, or not frozen, but fresh and cool and eat it. As soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so you say make sure that you have a live lobster if you're out there catching them yourselves, or if you're buying it from someone, make sure they're selling you a live lobster. Right, unless they're selling you a cooked one. Right. <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> yes, we don't want live ones crawling around the plate. <laughs> no. Now, when I was a kid, I really enjoyed, no, well, not a kid, a college student, uh, I really enjoyed heading down to uh, like Rosarita Beach and uh, Ensenada uh, down in Mexico. And I remember you could get lobster at great prices at some of the restaurants there. Is this what they're serving at those restaurants, likely the spiny lobster? Yes. And they have another species of spiny lobster, but basically you're that's what they're they're serving in Mexico. Then I have had it and it's delicious. You just didn't know you I were just having it. it. It just dawned on me when you were mentioning, you know, how far south it went and then you said uh it, you know, down into Mexico and I thought, wait a minute, now I remember yeah. eating that lobster. Uh that sounds delicious. And it doesn't prefer the colder water then. That's why it doesn't really go up past uh Monterey then. It does it wants to be in the warmer climates. The lobster is a warm 
uh, or what we call a temperate species. So it's not a cold water species like the East Coast lobster. Christine, let's talk a little bit about this. uh, Well, I find it odd that most of the spiny lobster that is uh, farmed off the coast of California is sent overseas. And in many of the restaurants in Southern California that do serve spiny lobster, the lobster comes from somewhere else. (laughs) (laughs) Right. So uh, that seems like an odd sort of setup that we have. Well, just so your public knows, we don't, nobody has successfully farmed spiny lobster. When you said farm, you meant our commercial commercial fish the fishermen harvest them. Harvest, yes, I'm sorry, yes, harvest off the coast. And there is a large demand for them in the in Asia, uh, and recently, in recent years, China has entered the market um, for lobster. There's a great demand, so fishermen can actually do very well selling their um, lobster to exporters who export them live to those countries. And they get a really good price for these lobster uh, as opposed to uh, what you might pay for a New England style. That's true because our our fishery is small by comparison to other fisheries in the world. In other words, the commercial landings are usually about uh, 500,000 pounds to three quarters of a million. Mm -hmm. And um, the recreational people also take some. So uh, when you talk East Coast, they're found in all the states uh, in the upper um, regions, of yeah. and, and it's a huge fishery compared to ours. So it's a, there's it's supply and demand. There's a much smaller number of spiny lobsters, so the price is much higher than for uh, lobsters. Uh, like the East Coast lobsters. If one of our, uh, we have to get to this quickly. If one of our listeners were to find the spiny lobster at, say, a harbor uh, there in Los Angeles or at one of the farmers markets, uh, what price range could they expect to pay? Right now, I would say they would pay anywhere from uh, thirteen, twelve, thirteen dollars a pound, clear up to twenty dollars a pound. Okay. Christine Barsky with the Department of Fish and Game out of the Oxnard office, giving us the lowdown on California's spiny lobster. Hey, thanks for joining us and stay dry today, okay? 